With the extreme heat, we're sure to see this week having sunscreen handy is a must. Yeah, many people worry, though, about the chemical ingredients in some sunscreens. Yeah. So they're going online to learn how to make their own. And dermatologists say that's not a great idea. Yeah, Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is taking a look at this new and dangerous mm. fad. Here's what started it. A new study showed that some ingredients in certain chemical sunscreens are absorbed through the skin at higher levels than previously thought. And according to a recent Consumer Reports article, that has brought up the talk of all natural sunscreens, leading some people to even making their own. Some of the most common do-it-yourself ingredients, according to Consumer Reports, coconut oil, essential oils, especially lavender and raspberry, shea butter, and zinc. I talked with local dermatologist Dr. Joel Cohen with About Skin Dermatology about this trend. People are doing this in the sink or the bathtub, and really there's no standardization of what they're doing. And the ingredients that are using may actually may not convey any significant sun protection at all. And that's scary because Dr. Cohen says just one significant sunburn in your life can dramatically increase your chance of melanoma. He says one person dies every hour of melanoma. That's a staggering number there. So what sunscreen should you get? Dr. Cohen says there are two key ingredients you should look for, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. So check the label. 